and welcome back folks welcome back to let's play fallout um when we last left off we had talked to a few people here in the in the brotherhood of steel in particular to vri and well we didn't learn much um uh, we she gave us a holodisc containing some autopsy reports but they basically just confirmed what we already have learned namely that these uh, mutants are infected by the fe by the fe by the fe virus um and that causes increased yeah with increased perception um and we also got another disc from sophia um Sophia, another scribe that apparently places more importance on the Brotherhood's history, so let us now read this disc and learn a bit, a bit, a bit about the history of the Brotherhood. The exodus from the accursed base was a trying time for the men and their families. While there was no radioactive fallout to contend with, they were frequently beset by the fallout of humanity. Roving bands of, psycho of psychotic marauders attempted several attacks on that noble group. The company itself was in no danger, for they were the power, the armor of power. Members of their families were not so lucky. Once the vermin found out they were easily repelled, they began to fire on the unarmed civilians from a distance. They took a great many casualties, yet for every member of the Exodus, that was struck down in this way, our noble brethren took two lives from the wasteland. Finally, the forefathers came to the safety of the bunker. Captain Maxon, the great deliverer, decreed this to be our no new home, and all was well. In the fullness of time, the bunker became our home, our temple, and our salvation from the terrors of the outside world. We began to build and shape our fortress into something glorious, the beauty of which the technology bereft world had never seen before. Yet, there were those who sought, as, who sought still more. These restless souls demanded we look to the southeast for the advanced technology that was supposedly housed there. Captain Maxon warned these impetuous youths that the research facility was doubtlessly destroyed and we were spared, but they would not hear his words. They took their san sanctified armor and headed off to find the Holy Grail, but not before they spoke the Deliverer's name in vain, questioning his very bravery. These men were never heard from again. Apparently this... Um, was a reference to the people who entered the glow. Um, okay, I guess that's um, it for the moment. Um, could try to talk to the High Elders, but let us first check whether we can um, Gain some power armor here. Ah, uh, so you're the, you're the one, huh? Uh, what? Nothing. Just that no one has ever made it back from the ancient order. What? Then why did they set me down there? <laughs> I guess they just wanted to get rid of you, huh? Well, the joke's on them. Um. Yeah. Say, so, what do you do here? I fix stuff, rent maintenance checks, that sort of crap. Hmm. What kind of stuff? Power armor and anything else that needs fixing. How can I get my hands on some power armor? I'll give you this power armor right here. But it's missing the systolic motivator. It's useless without it. Where could one get some of those? Well, 
They've got more than enough up in the supply room, but Michael and his darn forces. Darn forms say that this particular suit isn't up to specs. Damn bureaucrats. What do you mean up, not up to specs? You see, this eyepiece right here, I had to resold it in place. And it don't look good. Look as pretty as it needs to for inspection, I guess. So if you if I brought you a systolic motivator, would you fix it for me? Whoa, wait a minute there, fella. That would take a good couple of hours. I'd loan you a manual and my tools, but you would have to repair it yourself. Um. Hmm. Well, besides Michael, where else could I get one? <laughs> Ramos has a couple of them. I wouldn't ask him for one, though. Only the honored are supposed to wear these here for these here power armored suits. Besides, I think he has an unnatural attachment to them. Hmm. Okay. Thanks a lot. So we could either steal them or do the quest um, that Michael has given us. It would be, of course, much funnier just just to steal this. Um, but I think um, that would be a bit of a risk since we are. Yeah, our sneak skills are not really that fantastic. Um, so one more reason why we would want to invest into agility, because it would increase sneaking, lock picking, and stealing. So agility is would be something really worthwhile. Okay, who else can we talk to? Some knights. Are you lost? Uh, no. This is my room. Please leave. Uh, fair enough. I guess these guys won't talk to me. Yeah. They do not really enjoy you invading their privacy. I don't think you have seen me. Yeah, these all are not particularly delighted if you invade their private rooms, so I suppose um, we go to the High Elders then. Um, so we can get a power armor here, um, as we've just learned. But in fact, you can, and <laughs> that didn't do much, did it? Okay. Um, but you can actually also get power armor in the LA Boneyard. And that is actually better than the power armor you can get here. Um, hmm. Maybe we should have checked the library then. Um, hmm. Let us actually go back to. Let's go back to Vree's place. Um, I mean, if there's a library, then there should be some books, right? Uh, hmm. And if there are some books, then that means there are some way to get, there is a way to get free experience. Okay. Mm. Let's ask, ask her about the library. Okay. Uh, okay. She doesn't know about the library, apparently. Um, which is strange, given the fact that she what is can I help you with? a scribe. Um, tell me about the library. Please talk to one of the other scribes. Okay. Okay. Use okay. your pit bull. Let's skip. Hmm. 
Okay, maybe you. Yeah, maybe you can't enter the library, or maybe there is no. So I have to check this. Okay. Anyway, let us talk to the high elders then. Um. Let's stop fooling around. That is not the. That is not the high elder, but that is in fact General Maxon. Okay, how is he still alive? Um. And that that would imply that the history of the Brotherhood cannot be more than one. Uh, hello, life. youngster. Cabot said you wanted to talk. Look, I'm uh, I'm pretty stacked up right now, so I'll uh, I'll help you out as long as you don't start flapping your gums too much. You know, outsiders are like that, always jawing. <laughs> Gotta like me, huh? Uh, okay, he seems to be a bit... Well, first of all, he's... He looks rather much like... Um, um, so, Tendi's father. Um, Ara... Not Aragorn, and not Arafat. Okay, I forgot his name. Anyway, you know who I mean, okay. He very much looks like him. Um, and he seems a bit demented. Maybe you can tell me everyone here seems to be on edge. I'd like it's like you're getting ready to go on war, but no one knows who whom. Well, the merchants from the hub told us a bunch of caravans disappeared on their way up north. I think there's an army in the mountains, but the elders, uh, they don't want to act until they're sure. I have found proof that it is it is this army that is causing the disappearance of the caravans. It is an army of mutants. You have good reason to be worried. They look very formidable. Then you understand the problem. To survive, we need someone who knows the outside. Like you. Mm. I actually could do with this bottle cast, but... He probably would be a bit upset. Um, I'll go scout out the area to the north and then report what I find. Good. Anything else you need to ask? I should have gone for the money, shouldn't I? Uh. Would it be possible for me to get a hold of some better weapons? Well, I suggest you talk to my assistant, Mathia, about that. Okay. Okay, Maxon. Okay, uh, Maxon has cleared a weapons upgrade for you. What would you like? Oh. The power of fist is good. Um, um, I mean, I. Okay. Um, I don't need the, the laser pistol, and I don't need the rocket. I think I should go for the power of fist. I actually forgot what the ripper is. Um, and I have to make this decision now, which is a... Okay, um... <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on a second while I Google this. Um, Fallout... Ripper versus... Uh, Power Fist. I know this is rather silly. Um... It is the most expensive unarmed weapon in Fallout. Hmm. Maybe I should go for the power of his. But what about the Ripper? I think the Ripper is actually not an unarmed weapon. It's a melee weapon. Okay. Then we'll want to have the power fist, of course. There you go. 
Glad you are on our side, Initiate. Um, yeah, that's the power fist. So this does... Oh, yeah, and of course it uses energy cells. Um, Okay, um, let us talk to Maxon again. Uh, when will you come back, folks? So, until next time, folks. And yeah, then we'll talk to Maxon and maybe the High Elders. Maybe actually do something else. Uh, until next time, folks. Until um, then.